Okay, today is May 24th, 2019. Well, last night, uh, before I went to bed, I was, you know, I don't know what all the denomina denominations out here preach. And, um, I looked up a, um, a couple of quick uh, videos before I went to bed to hear what people believed about, I mean, what some of these denominations believe. Um, and, um, you know, I may have messed up in the past by saying something. I don't know if I... Uh, I don't know, I, I just sure hope I didn't mess up, because, um, you know, I saw that there are a lot of denominations out here that don't believe in the Trinity, and it doesn't help when people take scriptures out of the Bible, and uh, they have taken scriptures out of the Bible, and um, I don't really want to talk about a certain denomination because I know there are multiple denominations. But this, again, professing it, reading it, reading it and living for the word is, is what it's all about. Um, to go around saying you have to profess it, I wouldn't be surprised if you have to. But it doesn't help when... Two of the biggest Bibles out there, one says yes. I mean, one has it in there listed as Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are one. And the other one, the other, the other Bible, the NIV, does not. Um, it does say in John 1 1 that. Um, in the beginning is the Word, which is Christ. The Word was with God. And uh, the Word is God. And that is a Trinity too. That's another Trinity scripture. And um, I don't know why this ever came up that people battle out here with that because like I said if you believe the word and you lived it that's what matters but I could see how that if a person denied in the Trinity that they may not inherit the kingdom I mean it, it sounds pretty relevant when you find out that the word became flesh and that's Christ and uh Because of what a lot of other things that people believe, you know, I don't believe that you should denounce someone and hate them because of things that they've done that are okay in the Bible. I mean, I could sit here and say for, that you that certain denominations you have to tell them before you have a divorce. I don't think it comes down to a denomination that has that choice. And uh, I don't think it comes down to a denomination that if you uh, leave there, uh, and I'm only talking about a couple here, but I could go on and on because uh, I know, like I said, that there are a lot of denominations that hate the Catholics and they're not perfect. Their denomination is not perfect at all. Again, I know not one denomination and not one church was ever going to save a human being. Not one. I mean, to say that you're a Catholic and that you're going to be that that you're or uh, or a, a Baptist or Nazarene, saying that you're going to be one of these out here, and it's and and that because you believe in what they believe and that you're going to inherit the kingdom, that's not true. And it's not true that if you read some prayer out here that you're going to inherit the kingdom because you would still have to live the life that God asked. 
And, um, but I think in the past that, like I said, in a, when I made a video on the Trinity, that you didn't have to go around professing it like some people do, like they, like, like they boast it and then, then some deny it. And, um, but I looked up the definition of Trinity. I mean, as a matter of fact, I didn't even look up the definition. I was trying to see what just now when I got up, because I'm sure it looks like I just woke up, but, uh, when I, when I woke up, I decided to Google it and then I ran across the same definition again. And, um, the thing is, is I know, I'm going to say this, I know that, uh, I don't want to bring up no denominations. The only reason why I brought up those three is because, uh, and I'm not even, I know the Nazarene church is not even close to being one of the biggest churches out here. As a matter of fact, I hate that. Every time I, I mean, I truly believe the Nazarene church is the closest to, to following God as, as, as the three are. The thing is, nobody goes to Nazarene church. They don't want to go to a church where they preach that a person's going to, that a person's going to go to hell. And that's what the Nazarene church does preach. The only thing is when you get, when you, when you take, when you give leniency and you allow things to happen in your church, um, then it's, it's ultimately wrong. And I know that it just about most churches, unless they, unless they don't want you to come into their church, unless you're married, most churches, there are people that come into the church that are not married. But then I tried to cover that subject the other day. I believe in getting married truly that if a person had the heart for another person and that person had a heart for them and they, and they meant to be with each other, that I believe that you could sit here and, and make some, something with God. And, and because I know right now, if I, I don't truly believe that you have to have a, a, a marriage by uh, a ceremony and a whole bunch of gr groups of people, you know, groups of people is not have anything to do with marriage or whether somebody sits here and says, it's okay that, 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 uh, you can have my daughter or you can, or whatever the case may be, but to sit here and just totally deny a trinity you probably could you probably could go to hell for it but again how long since the word trinity is not in the bible and the, the, could you see how people would want to deny it because the word's not there just like the people that sit here and say that they don't when they look at the bible they don't see the trinity there i mean the, the rapture there the, the rapture so they they go well tell i mean i've seen people sit here and say tell me in a bible where the rapture is because i don't see it in my bible and the only re the only reason why people believe in a rapture is because of the scriptures they see it i think from other text that there was the word um i can't think of what it is and i'm not trying to cover a whole bunch of subjects it's truly about denying something that's in the word of god that's exactly what a person's doing when they deny a trinity is they're tr they're denying what the word of god says i mean truly in this in this life the best bible is the king james version even though certain scriptures they have a better version of other bibles I mean, to take the deity, I mean, to take and deny how, how important Christ is and knowing he's going to be the one that judges us. He's going to be the one. Yes, he's God, but we're not being judged by God, God. We're not being judged. He, I mean, if you can't understand that, it makes perfect sense because everybody knows that if they, a lot of people know that if they were judged by God, they would never make it. And I've sit here and I've even thought to myself and probably even admitted it before that there are times that the thoughts that God has isn't the same thought that goes through Christ's mind when it, it, it like if he was in heaven and say people are in heaven right now. But I don't see I don't literally think that every I mean, I'm not saying that God doesn't know every thought because he does. I'm just saying that could could while Christ was here, did literally every thought that God had always have to do with what everything that, what Christ was doing even though God is all-knowing 
I, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say there. Because I know that every thought and everything that God knows, the Holy Spirit knows. I mean, Christ wasn't, Christ wasn't lying when he sit here and said only the Father knew. But I, but I can, t I can guarantee you this, the Holy Spirit knew too, but why sit here? Why would Christ sit here and say that the Holy Spirit knew? Why would he need this? I mean, and I'm sure somebody goes, Oh man, you should have never said that. You should have never said that, Jeff. But I, if, if, if I was wrong and I said in my Trinity videos that, that a person would never have to declare the Trinity, the most important thing is reading the Bible and believing in the Bible and, and, and living it, living it. And see, the, the most important thing that I witness is that people aren't living it. They're not living it. If I wanted to bring up denominations, how could you denounce someone and never have anything to do with someone again? Because that's just like hate. And how is anybody going to ever inherit the kingdom with having hate? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you, I know right now, uh, people just think that God's more lenient than he is, and he's not. I mean, if it sits there and says something in the word, and uh, you're not going to make it, it, I mean, that you're not going to be forgiven if you're not willing to forgive someone else, then I would think I'd have to worry about whether I sit here and hate someone or not. And I know right now there's enough, I mean, almost every denomination has someone, every denomination has someone that hates someone, that hasn't forgiven someone. So I would have to squander what most of these denominations even preach in the first place. Because, you know, yes, the two most important things Christ said is love God with everything. And love everyone. But I know that I've heard so many people say that the other t the other Ten Commandments, I mean, whatever's left of the commandments, would would be written on the heart. I know it is, and I know that's what the Holy Spirit does, and I truly believe that that's what laws that he's ta that it's talking about. But but then I still cannot diminish the scriptures where it says that you will not inherit the kingdom if you do these things. And you guys think that I'm getting that I'm getting thrown off on this subject. I'm just trying to cover a lot of areas in this in this uh, in this video. I mean, it says that you'll do this, that you will not inherit the kingdom. Well, that mean that means you would have to have a change of heart and a change of mind and not go back and do those things again. And if you do it again and then and you quit doing it, I don't know if you have to confess. I don't know if, if you have to ask God for forgiveness. I don't know if you have to say, God, I repent. All I know is that if you don't do it again, every time you catch on and you don't do it again, well, that's what repentance is. I don't know if you necessarily have to tell God that. But I mean, if he does look at the heart like everybody says, then then and I don't deny it. I mean, I do not deny it. I know that there's a reason why a lot of people say it. I don't think that this is, I don't think that this is something that, uh, that a lot of people just sit here and bring up and try to fit their denomination around like a lot of other things that people do. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I, I just, you know, what so many denominations out here or religions or whatever, they preach against, against Christ, not for him. They preach against him. And preaching against him, I don't see how anybody can inherit the kingdom. Not giving him, not giving him the credit in his place of what he's done, and he did it. That God, God, God did raise him from the dead. I mean, there's no doubt. But the, the Holy Spirit was with Christ. See, I mean.
I do believe the power of the Holy Spirit was through was working through Christ. I know it. Just because he had to be like a man. He had to be like us. He had to be like us. But to not give him credit for all the for all the credit that's due, I mean, it could it could really hurt someone in the future. I mean, it makes me think that, uh, and and I'm gonna I guess I'll throw some denominations of the under the bus when I sit here and see a lot of the a lot of Baptists argue with uh, with Catholics. Uh, it makes me think that a lot of Baptists don't believe in the Trinity. But then most people read the NIV version, correct? Am I right? I mean, do not most Baptists read the NIV version? And Jehovah's Witness. Oh, there is a Jesus Christ. But they don't give him the credit. And it kind of makes me feel like that a lot of these people... That, that don't believe in a trinity when a lot of them are hateful on the internet, it's internet, it makes me feel like that it's not a Jehovah's Witness because they don't seem to be hateful out here. The only thing is the people that are hateful to Jehovah's Witnesses. And I understand that people have got to, have got to set people straight, but the thing is I know that there are, pe there are people that are going to get hateful about it. And it doesn't solve anything doesn't solve anything at all as a matter of fact I know again why most people why most people don't like my videos and then a lot of people don't like and it's not just my videos I know why most most atheists don't like uh, people that preach the word because a atheists think that you're that I mean that we come off hard with the words we say are are tough and hard, but you know what? Um, you know, it seems like everybody thinks they've got the right denomination, but um, evidently, it's, it, evidently, they don't. Evidently, everything that people pr believe out here uh, is going to lead them to hell. You know, I found, you know, I, I've got to end it on that. I mean, I, I've got to. I've got, I found a beautiful, I mean, a, the probably one of the most beautiful articles. And I got to find a cell phone or something so I can read from it. And that, yeah, that's it. Got to end this video.